Our first real motorcycle road trip would be a week-long journey from North Georgia to Florida. We would go from the West Coast to the East Coast, making stops along the way, and finally ending up in Daytona during the last weekend of Bike Week. But a last-minute decision changed our plans. 2023, the year we actually use our bikes. That's why I always picture it, but you know, stuff like this. We left North Georgia to head to our first stop, Panama City Beach, which meant going through Atlanta. It was Sunday though, so it wasn't that bad. Once we were clear, I got to finally try cruise control. I had never had a bike with cruise control before, and it was pretty life-changing. I'm gonna try cruise control, so don't go charging away. I wanna yeah. fix my mirror. All right. Yeah. Uh, on. Oh, <laughs> This is so pretty. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, good job, Louise. We passed through a beautiful town called Eufaula, Alabama, the best capital of the world. That guy had a naked lady fountain in front of his house. And this is beautiful. Look at these. Look, these are, look at this house. It's a great spot for checking out historic homes, fishing, outdoor activities, and for pecans. That was pretty. Oh, wow, it's gorgeous. Like how the trees are like a canopy over the I know. Do you know what the sun is? It's like this. Oh, man. Embarrassing. What? That's borderline embarrassing. It looks like you look like somebody covered on your face here with a crayon. Damn, you jumped this bitch, yo. We should have jumped that mother. But that would have been some free video. I'm not allowed to do that now. They have their jails are different. Inside runs the outside, y'all. Our first day in Panama City Beach was gloomy, but it eventually cleared up. So, we got on the bikes for a cruise up the coast before dinner. Your salty goat saloon. Salty goat saloon. <laughs> <laughs> Did he throw him down or no? No, that dude was renting a scooter. Look at that. Holy. Oh, damn, this was a six-seater, yo. <laughs> yeah. There were people on the sides of the road everywhere waiting to catch the famous West Coast sunset. Our plan was to watch it from a waterfront restaurant, but it was spring break, which meant everywhere was packed. And we missed the sunset. We eventually landed at Pineapple Willie's and then rode home in the dark. Dirty dicks! Damn, y'all! 
The next day, we packed our things and headed for Clearwater Beach. It was a little under 400 miles and was going to take about eight hours. Anthony's check engine light had come on on the way to Panama City Beach, but we decided to wait until we got to Clearwater so that we could have Bert's Barracuda check it out and do his 1,000 mile service. I love to do one. I like that. I love, I love to head west. Man, this is just straight, dude. <laughs> I know. Straight um, welcome flat. to Florida. Yeah. At least there's some trees here. I know. We pulled over for a break and to fuel up somewhere near Crystal River. We talked to several people out riding, and we met Bill, who took us to what everyone said was a must-see. I think we're by, we're near Crystal River. Yeah, and met Bill. Met Bill, he's on a 23 Indian, it's like the road king, but he, uh, he showed us all about it. He always, he said he always had road kings and this is his first Indian and yeah. he loves it. So he told us that we had to go a couple miles the down point. the road here, the point. And then there was another guy on a bicycle that told us we definitely had to do it. I guess it's some kind of a peninsula or something that yeah. Yeah, well, right out in the water. This is pretty, I mean I looked on the map and we're pretty much by Crystal River. Gave him my sticker, so if he's watching this, thank you, Bill. Thank you. What's up? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Bill was awesome, and we were so thankful that he took the time to take us here. Sometimes it's just worth taking that detour. Motorcycles truly bring the best people into your life. Here we are. Look at this. Back on the coast.
The next day was a whirlwind. We dropped off Anthony's bike to Bert's, but it would be a day or two before we got it back. So, what do you do when you don't have your bike? You rent a Lamborghini, of course. So, we met up with some friends from New York that moved down here, and with 15 minutes to spare before they closed, we went to the courthouse and got married. The next day we celebrated and then took pictures at sunset. Huge shout out to Anna who made the trip to meet us and take our pictures. She was absolutely amazing and we had the best time. At the end, the dolphins came out and it was perfect. of the night at a restaurant on Sand Key, which was absolutely delicious, and of course we had to take home some key lime pie for our wedding cake. Today was the day we had to say goodbye to the Lambo and pick up the road glide. But first, we had to watch some dolphins and then grab breakfast. It was our first time trying beignets and they were so good. We all taste just like fried dough from the fair. And you gotta dip it in that. We were having such a great time in Clearwater that we soon realized we made a huge mistake. We did not book a room at St. Augustine ahead of time. It was bike week and nothing was available last minute. So we stayed a few extra days, watched the storms roll through, watched boats run from the storm. We went to Hulk Hogan's restaurant and store and Anthony was in his glory. Check him out one year for Halloween. We hung out on the beach, laid by the pool, watched the sunsets, and ate lots of great food while watching awesome live music. We did it. Goodbye clear water on our way to St. Augustine.
lost an entire day to the pouring rain, but the next day was perfect, so we set out to explore the town. Built by the Spanish in St. Augustine to defend Florida in the Atlantic trade route, Castillo de San Marcos is the oldest masonry fort in the continental U.S. Entry is $15 unless you have the parks pass. St. Augustine is the oldest continuously occupied European established settlement and port in the continental U.S. It's known for its cobblestone streets, historical landmarks, and pristine beaches. It also has repeatedly been named among the most haunted cities in America, and you can take ghost tours there. We only had one day there, but there is so much more to do, so much history, and we will definitely be back to see the rest. the day with dinner at Salt Life and we got to see a SpaceX rocket which we later found out was sending supplies to the International Space Station. to head home and it was freezing. We were layered up and I had my heated vest on and my heater grips were on full blast. We had a little under 500 miles to go which was about seven to eight hours or so we thought. We hit traffic on and off the entire way back. But then we hit Atlanta traffic in the blinding sun.
It took almost 11 hours to get home. We were exhausted, cold, and ready to be done. We learned a lot about our bikes and traveling with them. More to come in one of the next videos on that. For now, we had an amazing time in Florida and we can't wait to get back out on the road. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of video, let us know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and until then, you ride safe and we'll catch you on the next one. Ha <laughs> ha